Okay, You're coming to challenge me. <laughs> Choose your fighter. Choose your fighter. Choose your fighter. Oh, All right, and with that being said, welcome to another vlog. Welcome to our club with Lampy. Tommy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no with Hamlet and the boy Ondo. Good morning. It's been a while since we've seen Ondo. The homie Jace, aka Toge Knights. Yep. Oh. We got Mochi in the house. Okay, thanks. Now I gotta. All right. It's a boys' night out. YouTube discrimination. You can just bleep that out, right? Yeah. Uh, what's I know. it called? What's that thing? Demonetizing? I don't know. So it is a boys' night out, but we will be hosting a car meet tonight. Because it's actually, been a while. What indoors. the hell was that? It's been a while since um, we've hosted a car meet, and today is January first. So we will be hosting the first car meet of the year here in the Bay Area. No, that hit the net. No, I went over. It. That hit the net. Still so doesn't over. count if it went over. I was trying to try to hit him with it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, I'll pay for the Supra. <laughs> You distracted me. That's not fair. <laughs> anyway. No, I know, but still, no. You'd be taking a Because if I'm editing in public. What up? Right, first nuts. Oh, ooh. <laughs> Matrix. Boy, you want me to go? Want to hit you? I think But they Based do on all which is eBay? But they do sell from eBay. Yeah, exactly. But, so they do, eBay. but I bought it in Alibaba, person. Alibaba, all right, get it right. So, <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's no, where you wish. order all the yeah, performance wish. parts, wish. all the turbos. It's wish. definitely wish. I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy a big the turbo. The Nagasaki hair dryer. Oh, you took too long for that. It just didn't work out. Where's your M? Turn it for like maybe a few clicks. What are you doing? Huh? <laughs> Babe! Pushing? <laughs> Get Roy boys are here. Oh no, don't pay. We're ugly. Come on. Yeah, we ugly as fuck. I'm just here to record. Oh, what's right, up? Christian, what's up? What's you know, up? Come on, bro. I ain't even picture ready, dog. No. He's all posing. <laughs> I ain't even picture ready, dog. Oh, she's getting a video of your dog. Yo, don't you got the bad angle? <laughs> All right, so it is, uh, I think it's about to be seven in the morning right now. I've uh, been up since six o'clock, but it's been too dark to actually work on my car outside. So um, the brakes on my Miata, the rotors are pretty much toast. So <laughs> you, you can tell I just woke up right now. My rotors were actually supposed to come in on Monday, but I actually, got them yesterday when I came home I actually ended up seeing the box in my room and so I'm pretty excited about that because obviously we want to be safe on the road and so in saying that and in doing that let's just go ahead and uh, get started even though it is still pretty dark outside um, the sun should be rising pretty soon so uh, let's do it
right, so she's in the driveway. And as you guys can see, still no sunlight. So, uh, in other words, <laughs> we're gonna see and uh, hopefully not make any mistakes as we start to pull this thing apart. But um, yeah, the brakes need to get done, man. They're they're toast. So cool. Let's do it. As you guys can see, uh, this rotor is pretty much toast. My brake pads are new, but the rotor is done. It looks like uh, there's some scorching going on. That's probably from the last brake pads. Um, E-brake is on right now, so I know this guy won't spin, but there's you can actually feel a bunch of grooves, so it's definitely time to get this guy off. All right, and so real quick, when you're doing a brake job on a car, any car, doesn't matter, your two best friends are going to be brake grease and brake cleaner. So make sure you guys always have brake cleaner or brake grease when you guys are um, you know, doing brakes on a car. If you guys don't know what that looks like, it's gonna be these two right here. So I usually just get the O'Reilly brand because there's uh, really no reason to spend a whole bunch of money on another brake cleaner. They really all work the same. Um, and then this is some caliper grease right here. This just makes sure that all the moving parts, um, you know, are properly lubricated. You don't have to worry about anything in terms of like, you know, anything seizing together as long as you use enough caliper grease. Obviously don't overdo it, but this, this stuff works pretty good, so. All right, so basically, first thing you gotta do is on the rear brake you want to go ahead and there is a bolt back here once this thing focuses hold on give me a second so there is a bolt right there i don't know if you guys can see it this one right here so there's this bolt right there you guys want to go ahead and undo because on the uh, rear brake calipers basically what you guys need to do on the rear brake calipers is undo that back bolt this will lift up and then as you lift up and you twist, you slide out here. And that's how the rear caliper comes out. All right. And so this is basically what comes out, is uh, this pin right here. So as you guys can see, it has the threads. That is what you're basically unscrewing. The rest of it is a slider pin, so the caliper slides back and forth on this guy. Once you guys do that, you should be able to just pull the caliper up. Like so. And that ends up exposing the brake pads. And the caliper opens up just like a clamshell. So you got one brake pad, two brake pads. There's always hardware, so just be careful with that whenever you're removing anything. And we have to go ahead and remove the caliper and the brake pads because this whole rotor assembly is coming off. There it is. I don't really care about this rotor because, like I said, this thing is pretty much done. Um, but this is what the old one looks like. Let me show you guys the new one. And so, <laughs> you guys can definitely, definitely see the difference. Um, this one has some scorching. I waited a little too long to change these, so make sure you guys change them way sooner than I did but oh there we 
go. And just to make sure that that is on there flush. All right, so we just finished up lubricating this top one with grease. You gotta wipe off all the excess grease. You don't want that falling on your rotor. Make sure everything's on there snug. Go on. Boom. That is on there. You take your bottom slider pin. Give it some nice, some nice greasy bay, and then slide this sucker in. You always want to make sure you do it by hand first, because uh, you really, really do not want to cross thread one of these guys. You cross thread this and game over. You don't gotta over torque the crap out of it. Just nice and tight. Cool. Still some drag. Take this off. And boom. There's number one. Moving on to the front. Alright, and so it's the same thing on this side. Um, these rotors are basically toast as well. A bunch of grooves in them. Um, there's some drag, which, I mean, all brakes should have at least a little bit of drag, nothing too crazy, but the good thing is I can still move it by hand. So, um, once again, the pads are new. It's just the actual rotors that need to get replaced, and so I got them over there at the end, so we're just gonna go ahead and get that done. All right, and so the front of the car is a little bit different. The front brakes, um, you will need a 14 and a 17 millimeter socket in order to take off the brake caliper because on this one there's a 14 on the top and a 17 on the bottom you got to take those two out and this whole assembly actually comes off so it's not like the front or it's not like the rear sorry it's not like the rear where you only take off one flip it up and then slide it out with this one there's two bolts you got to take those two out those are also the slider pin bolts and uh, after that's out then there's a bracket on the back, same thing. You take off the two bolts on the bracket, whole thing comes out, then you can take off the rotor. The caliper is now here resting on the top and we have the brake pads and the other hardware that is on there we're gonna go and take that off take the brackets off for the back of it and then it comes off So same thing, this one was actually a little easier to come off. But uh, as you can see, this one doesn't look so bad on camera, but it actually is. Um, so this guy is the old one, now you get the new one. All right, so this would be the new guy right here. As you can see, front on camera it doesn't look that bad, but once you look at them up close, you can definitely tell the difference. Time to go ahead and replace these guys. Now just getting on the hardware, and now it's just time to go ahead and put on the caliper. But that's pretty much it. 
that's really all there is to the front and rear brakes. And so my camera is actually about to die. So I think that's where I'm going to end up calling this video. Um, but if you guys have any underlying questions or anything like that or comments, please go ahead and drop one down below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and uh, follow me on Instagram at Valley Meets. But until then, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Stay tuned. Keep moving forward, guys.